do affirmations really work hi my name is dr meghna dikshit i'm the author of the book you matter and brain and performance expert if you're new to the channel please subscribe and hit the bell icon we are talking about affirmations today do they really work and if they work how do they work so let me share some insightful facts about our brain here all of us get more than 60 to 70000 thoughts every single day and in those thoughts most of our thoughts like 95% of our thoughts are automated thoughts that means the thoughts that you had yesterday are the exact same thoughts you had day before a week back a month back a year back or maybe years back most of our brain is designed when you are young under the age of 7 years 90% of our brain's development has happened and if you are someone who has not exposed or experienced something new in your life if your life is as uh, simple or as same as what you lived as a child it is going to create the same kind of results in your life because you're going to have the similar kind of thoughts now coming from that premise you need to understand that 95% of your thoughts are automated thoughts right so we don't know whether your thoughts are negative thoughts or or your positive thoughts there are two kinds of brain patterns that we are parallelly running in our brain and these are the neural circuitries of automatic negative thoughts and emotions and automatic positive thoughts and emotions what happens with your thoughts is when you pay attention to your thoughts it invokes a certain feeling in your life and your feelings then compel you to take the action now whether you have the negative thoughts based on that you will generate a certain kind of chemicals or certain kind of serums in your body which will make you feel negative and when you feel negative you are going to make the decision based on survival and when you make the decisions based on survival you are going to take the actions based on survival but when you start feeling positive you release positive chemicals in your body and it helps you to create more positive experiences in your life now you can see your life how it is right now are you experiencing more negative experiences or are you experiencing more positive experiences in your life so if you are experiencing negative experience type n e in the chat box and if you are experiencing positive experiences in your life type p e in your chat box now remember if you look at your 24 hours of life you got to be very conscious about understanding your moment to moment experiences that you're creating now i know it's a huge task but at least out of 100 experiences that you have how many are positive and how many of are negative and you take a chart you take you create a graph of your life for the last 3 months to 6 months and in that graph you make a note of which days you have more positive experiences and then which days you have more negative experiences or is it like you know con- continuous chart of increased negative experiences or increased positive experiences you got to identify and create a x and y graph for your life so that you can logically view and witness your life right in front of you once you do this now you know your thoughts are negative majorly or your thoughts are ne- positive majorly now once you've understood this you come back to the affirmations Affirmations are the great way to start reframing your negative thoughts. At the same time, it's a great way to reaffirm your positive thoughts. Now, either ways, you want to create your goal first. What exactly you want to achieve in your life? Now, affirmations may not be the full proof and only way to achieve your goals, but it can really help you and propel you towards that direction. As I said that there are 60 to 70,000 thoughts in your brain every single day and you have limited energy. Now where do you focus on that with that energy will expand in your life those results you will create. Now if you start consciously focusing on the affirmations or the positive thoughts it will start directing your energy towards the goal and vision that you have and it will help you to create that in reality. But if you're not even aware of what's going on in your brain probably you're just going to live the same life that you lived yesterday even tomorrow. 
So do this work before you understand how the affirmations work. Now when you are younger at the age of 2 to 8 you have developed a perception filter based on your past experiences your beliefs and your values the things that matter to you the most. And all of this happens to you from your environment where your parents your education system or what you saw what you heard paid more attention to becomes your value system. What is important to you when you become an adult? Now all of this perception filter is actually filtering all your thoughts and most likely the affirmations that are not aligned with either with your past experiences your beliefs or your value system will not be accepted by your subconscious mind and as you all know by now that the subconscious mind is 95% of your mind and it has got a huge power and most of your automation of your brain happens because of subconscious mind and if the perception filter does not accept your affirmation obviously it's not going to give the instructions to the subconscious mind to deliver the results that you want in that case a lot of you must be experiencing no results from affirmations so tell me in the chat box if in the past you have done a lot of affirmation practices and that really didn't work for you now for some of you the affirmations may be working beautifully because your perception filter accepts it and when your perception filter accepts it it actually goes in your subconscious mind to give a direction to your mind to work on that goal and achieve the results for you your actions change now how do you make your affirmations work for you so the first thing that you need to understand is if the affirmations didn't work you in the past that means you need to work on your perception filter you cannot write an affirmation that i am rich and your perception filter says but i don't have an evidence that you're rich what what you talking about you're rich you're, you're, you know your last seven generations have been poor this i don't have an experience of you being rich now for the people those who feel that your affirmations are not working because there is no past experience my suggestion is add the word learning a brain is a great learning machine right so what you can tell your brain is instead of writing i am rich you can say i'm learning to become rich see becoming rich is a learnable skill and when you add the word learning to it it will give a huge result for your brain to accept that affirmation and it will give a direction to your subconscious mind to seek help and to focus on things that can actually help you to become rich so you see how we how we turned our affirmation in a learning way this is a game changer okay so i want you to look at your existing affirmations that you do and how can you add that learning word into it so that your subconscious mind can start accepting your affirmations much better let me know the affirmations that you are currently practicing and how you're going to reframe them give me an example in the chat box and i would really love to correct your uh, affirmations to make it more helpful for you when you do the right affirmations it actually helps you to shift your mindset and turn into a growth mindset making sure that not just doing the affirmation mechanically and thinking that oh my life will change when i do this but actually it can turn it around to make you take the right kind of actions spot the right kind of opportunities and make the right kind of decisions that will help you eventually to create a better life for yourself the second way the affirmation can help you is it can boost your confidence it can actually help you to rewire your self image and your self worth because now you're focusing on your internal self it can actually help you to focus more and more about what you want in your life and what you don't want in your life the third way the affirmation can help you is it will align you with your goals and your vision if you have not yet created your goals and vision then please check my video on the vision board and how to create your goals both of these videos will actually help you to create a better alignment with your affirmations and create that success for yourself fourth way the affirmations can help you that it will actually give you a lot of support and encouragement even though you are struggling even though you have challenges when you start doing the affirmations it gives you that momentary relief it gives you that feeling that it is in your control and when you start feeling more in control you will start creating better solutions for your life so 
affirmations can actually help you as a creating support environment as an encouragement of your own voice for yourself the sixth way the affirmations that help you is it aligns you with your aspirations and your values if you are someone who's broke or who's not made enough money in the past and if you want to become rich the affirmation that i'm learning to become rich will actually help you to align your values that why becoming rich is more important how can you help more people when you become rich when you're broke you're not helping yourself you're not helping the world you may have great aspirations to change the world or create more uh, institutions that can help more and more people but you, you if yourself are not rich how are you going to do that so you see you may have a goal of changing the world but you may have a contradictory belief about becoming rich now when you create a solid affirmation you you bridge the gap and when you bridge the gap you actually take right kind of actions so yes affirmations are very very helpful but if you have any sort of a negative experience or if you have any sort of a negative experiences coming in your life on autopilot my suggestion is don't just depend on affirmations but make sure that you seek help to rewire your perception filter you can change your perception filter and you can start creating a better life for yourself now i can help you do that you can either get my book and start working on yourself or there's a link in the chat box that you can start attending my master class which is coming to you completely complimentary as a gift from me right now start rewiring your perception filter so that you can start aligning your affirmations and create a better result if you like the video give me a thumbs up and share it with at least 10 people see you soon